All right. Good morning, everybody. Tony Jones here with Rebel Financial. Thanks for joining our podcast. Today we have a great guest, uh, Mary McCarthy from YMT Consultants. Yes. So thank you for coming in. Well, thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Um, we are going to talk about a number of things today. Uh, Mary has been consulting after being a small business for a number of years. So you've got great experience. You're very busy. Yes. Um, and so you bring a wealth of information to small micro businesses, really. Okay. So let's talk about that. The, the first, we, we'll talk about a few things. One, kind of your background, look after you're hearing a little bit about YMT Consulting. Okay. And also about some of the initiatives that you're working on as well. So. What brought you into this industry to be able to consult people? Well, you know, it's interesting because I was sharing a little bit earlier and I love to tell the story that I just fell into it, right? Grew up in a traditional household, expected to get a job in a corporation, stay for 20 years and then retire with a pension. Mm -hmm. um, that's not typically the way things work anymore, but it was when I was growing up. So falling into entrepreneurship, I didn't even know what that meant, but I found I loved it. For those of you that think I just love being able to do my own thing, I'd love to create, make something out of nothing. Um, I mean, it was just perfect for me. Mm -hmm. And I have been an entrepreneur ever since. So I brought the knowledge of that initial business that I was involved in with my husband into my consulting. So we took something from, I have an idea, and we have to pay our bills because we have no other money, mm -hmm. to 25 employees. So when I left that business, you know, going through all those trials and tribulations, we tend to do it all alone in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And it allowed me to bring that knowledge to others mm -hmm. and it makes a world of difference. Yeah. And you really enjoy what you do. Oh, you it's so much it. fun. Yeah. C creating, you know, something out of nothing, seeing it grow, you know, seeing a problem, figure out how to turn it around and actually get the business on track. Mm -hmm. That's just fun. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. And I, I think, you know, we had talked about this. I, I was part of our own business, uh, my uh, one that we started and mm -hmm. entrepreneurs you know it's great we need that spirit right I mean that is what helps grow our economy but it is. most people don't know the unknowns you know and you know they learn a lot on the job and so it's great to have some sort of support and I think that's why businesses and entrepreneurs really can benefit from talking to somebody like you who has mm -hmm. been through it and to learn more about what they don't know well you know we tend to say let's just hunker down and just Keep on plugging along mm -hmm. and make it work. But if you have direction, right, you can go so much farther because you know what you're trying to accomplish. You have an understanding of what you need to do, whether it's increasing your sales and marketing, managing your financials, um, really readjusting your marketing message, yeah. right, going after the right target audience. Everybody is not going to buy from you. That's okay. Focus on those that will. So. Working with someone that helps you define those things is just going to make you more effective and productive. Right. Well, and I think sometimes people get so involved in their own business yeah. they really can't see. So it's great to have that outside mm -hmm. perspective when you do that. Yeah, so. we don't have the emotion involved, so it's really easy yeah. to listen and say, "Well, you, this is just the direction you should go." Right. Right. Yeah. It seems yeah. so clear cut to me. Right. Where you're struggling with it. Right. Yeah. So, and you you deal mainly with micro businesses. Right, so micro-business is defined in the state of Ohio as less than 20 employees. And that's 92%, not only in the state of Ohio, but nationally as well. 92% of all businesses are micro-business. So, it, that is, I, I guess I didn't ask this earlier, it's defined in the state of Ohio. That yes. means it's, so it's not um, state by state, it could change so on. It is not. Um, okay. It's But because it's 92, we did a lot of research of really what is the size that most small businesses are, and then what do we need? So knowing in the state of Ohio, we'll ultimately go national because, you know, we can, or at least we can try. But knowing that then means that the state of Ohio can work on programs that are going to help us specifically. Because right. we know there are programs for larger businesses, right? Yeah. Uh, but what can they do to help us? Well, now we can help define that mm -hmm. and give them some ideas and direction. Okay. Well, that's great. So um, take me through um, who... We, micro businesses we know, but take me through how you're going to help a client. You know, I mean, how, how, if somebody comes in and says, "Hey, please help me," what, what does that look like? Well, and again, I, so we do a couple things. Yeah. One is one-on-one -on -one consulting, mm -hmm. so that's working specifically with the business. Um, another is training. So if you're, if, and that's a group setting. We bring really the same kind of concepts into that. But if we're looking working one-on-one, -on -one, it is really setting goals. Right? You have to set goals so we know what we're trying to accomplish. 
It is reviewing all your, of the financials so we understand what your dollars look like. And that's personal and business, mm -hmm. right? Because your personal finances and credit impact whether or not we can get funding for growth. So we need to look at that. We look at your sales and marketing activity, and we build in some tools to help you grow your sales and marketing to grow your revenue. Um, we call that our MGT, or Management Growth Tactics process. Mm -hmm. So those are the three areas, is leadership development, sales and marketing, and financial controls. But then, quite honestly, it's every business is different, so it's mm -hmm. tailored to you. And some uh, clients, I work a little bit more closely with communications with their team. Uh, it could be creating a plan. Right now, I've got one that we bought um, a new building, and we are transitioning to the new building. And that causes a lot of stress, and obviously, you know, there's, there's costs associated that we have to manage. Um, I love building budgets, spreadsheets, love them, mm -hmm. right? you got to manage your dollars, managing the project very carefully, and we're moving them. Um, others, it really was working on credit. So outside of those three specific areas that everybody we work with, then it's tailoring to what they, that, that business owner specifically needs. Okay. But those three, right? But I mean, those, those three. are they're pretty common uh -huh. to every small business. Every small stuff. business owner has those three. Yeah. You know, we're afraid of sales. We haven't always defined our marketing and our target audience. As you grow, you're no longer the owner of a small business. You've got to transition to the leader of your um, organization, mm -hmm. right? Because you're bringing on staff and you have to manage them. You've got to manage your culture. Yeah. So we help with all of that. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. So let's transition a little bit. Um, uh, you're a woman, and so a lot of you have a lot going on. Uh -huh. Part of that is the Women's Small Business Accelerator, too. But before we get into that, Tell me some of the hurdles or more of the hurdles. What does that look like for a woman entrepreneur um, as compared to a man? Or what, you know, you know it's what interesting because like? when I co-founded the Women's Small Business Accelerator, uh, what prompted that was in 2007, the SBA came up with a fabulous um, research paper on if all things are equal between men and women, and that means education level, experience level, ability, why are men succeeding more than women? And there was nothing new in the report. Um, but that's really what got me thinking, why are we still having these same conversations? So things such as if a man says they want to start a small business, their family and friends would typically say, great, you know, we're behind you. If a woman wants to start their, a small business, they say, well, how are you going to manage that and still care for your family, right? Um, a man just assumed they were going to be a million dollar business, a woman wanted to hope to pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Those kinds of answers. Right. And today when I talk to a lot of women, I still hear those same things. Mm -hmm. So so that part hasn't changed. That part hasn't changed and we're working on that. And it's interesting because we have more successful women now in, in Central Ohio, incredibly successful women. So we have great role models that we can look to and we're utilizing those role models in our organization. Um, but we really focus on Mentoring, educating, and guiding, mm -hmm. right? So it's okay to want to be a successful business. If you want to have a business that just helps bring in extra money, we need to know that's okay. Because mm -hmm. we always feel embarrassed of saying, you know, that's just a side hustle, mm -hmm. so like it's unimportant. It's not. It's a business. You're making money. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a multi-million dollar business, like some of our women, um, Jane Brody Abel, Sally Hughes, Starla King, they're incredibly successful women. If we want to do that, great. We're going to help you get there. Mm -hmm. Just just on what they want. What yeah. They, need and such. yeah. they get to determine what they want out of their business, and yeah. we're going to help them accomplish what they want to get. Yeah. I, I do see it more and more. It seems, I shouldn't say more and more, because I have nothing to, to base that on, but I do see a lot of people starting from businesses, men or women, yes. and I don't even think it. But of yes. course, we as financial planners, we're usually working with somebody who is, is probably a better plan and life and things like that, you know, and that's why they're working with us. So, may, so maybe I just have that bias and thinking that's what I see, but yeah, I wish more people, our economy needs, it grows because of mm -hmm. small businesses. Like you said, 92% right. of all businesses are small businesses, so. Well, and that means the majority of employees are employed by small business, yeah. right? We're creating jobs. Right. So we're creating an opportunity to not only pay your bills and put food on the table, but to create wealth. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. if we do it right. Yeah, oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. So let, let's real quick take a look. Um, yes. I, let, let's start a little bit with YMT, and then we will come over to um, the Women's, Women's Small, Small Business, Business Accelerator website. Yeah. So 
Um, I hope I did a good enough job on letting uh, Eileen switch over to this. But So if somebody wants to f learn more about you, they can go to ymtconsultants.com, um, mm -hmm. and you could learn more about, you know, their story. Right. Um, um, you know, the, how, how, we, how they can help you and uh, other things about this uh -huh. as well. And you get to see two of the people that went through our program. So Chad Ebert, whose picture up here is, is, was someone who went through our training program that we did with the SBA called Scale Up America. Um, and he went from one location, so he owns Powell Music Academy. Okay. And this picture was actually taken at a second location at Lewis Center Academy. Okay, awesome. So it goes to show, I mean, that, that's a business I, I think of, he probably grew from a love of what he's doing. And, yes. and I, I don't know Chad, right, we didn't talk to him, but so many entrepreneurs do that out of a love of what they're doing right. and yet don't have the direct, or they think they're just going to fall into a successful business, but it just doesn't work out. He's a way. perfect example of an entrepreneur that really wanted to make it work. So he already was in business, you know, the scale program, you already had to be at least two years in business and generating revenue. Um, but he wanted to expand and grow. He was very intentional in what he wanted to learn. And he was willing to reach out and say, I want to learn. I, he took advantage of every opportunity he could through their program. Um, he shared that he wanted to open a second location. He happened to find it. He needed funding. He needed it very quickly so he didn't lose the space. Uh, we connected him with uh, one of my favorite people, Deanna Barzak with Pathways Financial Credit Union. She had him funded within a week and he mm -hmm. opened. And he's just been growing. He's now currently looking at a third location. Yeah. Well, yeah. and you make a great point, too. Um, we, you know, we talked about the fundamentals of running a business, uh -huh. but if you want to expand your business, sometimes you need those outside funds. Right. And you don't, as an entrepreneur, really know anywhere near the network that you marry. I have a really strong network, yes. Yeah. And, and I talk to funders all the time, so we want to match you with the right funder. So I work with you know State Bank and, and Heartland Bank, you know Liberty, Pathways. There's So credit unions, micro-lenders, there's ECDI. You know, it's going to the right one, and we help you pull together your funding request. Mm -hmm. So we help you package it to get the yes. Yeah. Okay. And let me don't you, guarantee it. I'm going to throw that in there too. Right. I cannot guarantee funding, but we do our best to help you get funding. Right. Yes. And let, let me just plug real quick. You said ECDI, so yes. Economic Community Development Institute, because uh -huh. Douglas was on here a couple weeks ago. So yeah, he's one of my favorite people too. Yeah, no, he's a great guy. So all right, well, let's for the sake of time, let's switch over to the Women's Small Business Accelerator. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I wanted to you know make a plug here for the conference that's coming up. Thank although, you. although. It is getting pretty full, right? And time is. We're getting out, close, but we're still we're still open for ticket sales and luncheon sales. So the Women's Small Business Accelerator is ent will be entering its seventh year in October. Believe it or not, we're so excited. And again, it's about working specifically with women to mentor, guide, and educate. One of the things that we're doing for the leadership, because leadership's so important, is uh, once a year we partnered with Brady Ware. It was actually. Betty Collins with Brady Ware and Company, a CPA firm, that initially launched the concept of the Women's Conference. We've been a part of it for five years now, and NABO, National Association of Women Business Owners, joined us last year. So the three organizations are putting this on. Um, we're close to selling out. Our goal is 250 attendees for the conference. And then we have the opportunity, because the space is larger for lunch, to sell just luncheon tickets if you can't make the whole day. We have a fabulous keynote speaker. We have an awards celebration celebrating three incredible successful women. It's just a lot of fun and it's educational. And again, you get to hang out with me. So I think that's what's coming. No, that's absolutely. It's like, nothing time. else. Yeah, Come say that, hi to me because right. you saw the podcast. That's right. Absolutely. So, okay. Well, so so for this, you can go to um, W B. So our website is wsbaohio.org, and right on the very top uh, line, it highlighted in green so you can't miss us, is a link to go to the website to sign up for the conference. Okay. And if you want, again, going back to YMT Consultants, you can go to that website and you can see the different programs and things that you can sign yes. up and how to contact Mary. Absolutely. So. And in general, if you either are wanting to launch a business Men and women, if you're wanting to launch a business, if right. you currently have a business and you're struggling right now, and you just want a little bit of, of information and guidance, reach out. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Yeah. We're both organizations. We're here to help everyone that wants to be a successful entrepreneur 
accomplish that. Yeah, and so right now you'll be seeing at the end of this uh, Mary's contact information, but again, mm -hmm. ymtconsultants.com will get you there as well. So um, one last mention, um, for uh, <laughs> the month of June, we are going to be giving away this Echo Dot to any new subscribers on our YouTube channel. So go to YouTube and just subscribe to the Rebel Financial Station uh, or channel, and uh, you'll be eligible to win this. So, but Mary, thank you. Well, thanks it was for great talking me. to you. I enjoyed so, it. Yeah, no, this was nice. So, so good luck. I mean, I, I hope you hear from people because it is um, a lot of businesses fail, right? And so, a good way to see and try mm -hmm. to, you know, fight that off is to get help. And, right. And, you know, get you know, it's very them. empowering to ask for help. I know we can be intimidated, saying we don't know everything. You know, get rid of that concern and just ask. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, well, yes. thanks everybody. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday. Thank you.